Hi! Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to do a review of my Hermes Compact Beer and Wallet and also share what mini handbags it fits inside in case it can help any of you who were thinking of adding the wallet or any of these mini bags to your collection. If you've seen some of my other collection videos, you may know that I like to carry small size bags. So typically they're mini size bags, oftentimes they're crossbody because I like to be hands free. Starting off with a review for the wallet, this is the one that I have. This is my compact beer and wallet in the rose lipstick color, so it's this beautiful pink color, and the gold hardware. It's in Tadillac leather, which is this gorgeous smooth leather. I hope you can see the sheen and also the smoothness that it has. And this wallet measures approximately four and a half inches this way, three and a half inches down, and it's just over an inch wide when it's full with stuff. So it has this pull tab up here that you just slide out to open it up. As you can see there, I have my stuff in here, but um, there are four card slots that come up this way. There's a zipper compartment over here. There's one single slip pocket behind the zipper compartment, and there are actually three slip pocket compartments on the side behind the credit cards. And there's a single compartment in the back for bills or cash or receipts, whatever you would like to put in there. I want to share some first impressions that I have and start off with the positives. So as someone who typically carries around a card wallet as her full wallet, um, I really like having a dedicated spot for cash. Um, it helps, helps it all stay organized and it just means that, that you know, your cash won't get too crumpled up because sometimes, um, sometimes it'll get like zippered over and like ripped all over and you have to like fold it five times so it'll fit and things like that. So, so I really like that there's a dedicated cash spot. Um, the other great thing about this wallet is even though it's compact, it has a lot of space for you to put cards. So there are four card slots up here, there are three sl slip pockets behind, and there's another slip pocket back here. Um, so I have managed to fit almost all the cards that I need on a daily basis. Uh, thanks to all the card slots that it has. The other thing I love about this is just this color. I cannot deny. My heart might have skipped a beat when I saw this color uh, at the store. Um, so that's definitely played a huge factor into me purchasing this item. And uh, the other aspect that I love about this and uh, otherwise probably would not have experienced is actually this Tadillac leather. So I love, I love how lush it looks the sheen that it has just its smoothness and everything I, I have totally fallen in love with tadillac leather the last thing that really convinced me to keep this in my collection was the fact that uh, i could fit my phone in it so unfortunately i'm filming on my phone so i cannot really show you but if you open this up you can actually slide your phone in and manage to close it so it would probably look a bit like this um, and it would be wide. I wouldn't recommend doing that for day to day, but um, I oftentimes will just walk out with my wallet and my phone, so it is helpful that I can kind of consolidate the two uh, and it's easier for me to keep track of all the essentials that I need to have and make sure I don't lose track of them. Now, moving on to some of the not so positive aspects of this wallet. Uh, one of the items is the size. So. I think because I'm used to more card wallets, I'm used to them being a little bit slimmer and they would fit like right inside my hand. So for example, this card wallet here is easy to hold in one hand. Um, it's not that this one's particularly falling out of my hand or anything, but it is a little bit wide where it feels a little awkward, like my fingers don't fully um, wrap around it to where I feel like I have a, like a really comfortable grip on this whole wallet. Um, so oftentimes I end up carrying it kind of like this where I'm like half holding it and it's easier to drop or, or lose track of it. The other aspect that I don't really care for is that these card slots up here, I presume they're for your most used cards, are actually 
um, pretty shallow like you can see how much more of the credit card you see um, and I needed to get used to that I, I wasn't quite sure how I feel about it I still don't like that you can see so much of my first credit card up here um, but I do have to say it does make it a lot easier to pull the credit cards in and out of the wallet so I'm pretty sure they did that design on purpose to make it easier for you to access your items but um, it's just it just seems odd that you see so much of your credit card when you open up your wallet now I know as a positive impression I talked about this gorgeous leather uh, but on the flip side of that I do have to mention that I think I feel like it dents uh, and kind of marks up kind of easily so um, it was in my bag and I guess it was pressed against something so there was it, it like got an impression here of, of something and um, I've managed to get most of it out um, through through a hairdryer essentially <laughs> um, but you can see it's still a little bit of it there and like the back has started to pick up some dirt especially around here because that's the piece that will touch any surface the most um, and so it seems to be a little bit more on the delicate side so just something to consider the last qualm that I have with this style is that there is quite a bit of dead space if you can see there because it folds over um, so it does take up quite a bit of room in your bag even if it were a larger bag it would take up more space than like a card holder would like like something like this so those are some of my first impressions so before we head into the section where I share what mini bags this wallet fits into I want to share some of the other items that I typically carry with me so you get a sense of what other things I would need to fit in these mini bags as well also given my lifestyle I don't have to carry too too many items with me um, so to quickly share the essentials that I need typically I am used to carrying around like a card wallet so this is like my Fendi card wallet that I have I'll have a pouch with some makeup items in there and by makeup items I mean like a lip balm a lipstick some eye drops and another lip balm and I'll also have my keys as well as a pair of sunglasses that are typically in a soft case so I'll start off with the smaller bags that I have smaller among the other mini bags that I have I'm going to show which bags they fit in so if you've seen my Chanel wallet on chain comparison video you would have seen that they actually fit inside both of my wallet on chain styles so it fits inside like this in the half moon style and it fits inside like this in the reissue style the next smaller bag of my mini bags is my Hermes Vespa here so it fits inside as you can see but I do have to note that it does take up pretty much all of the space in this bag so I could slide my keys and maybe like a lip balm or lipstick on top and if I want to close this bag, which you do by pulling the toggle through, that's pretty much all that I could really fit um, unless I like slid my sunglasses on top like that. But that's like max capacity. The next mini bag in my collection is this piece right here. Uh, so this is by the brand called Balextra. Maybe some of you know. This is the Dada bag in the small size in this dim light gray or blue shade. I kind of call this my lunchbox bag because it <laughs> looks like a lunchbox and it just opens up like this. So this wallet fits perfectly inside. You just pop it in and you can see it lays flat against the back and then I can go ahead and add my cosmetic pouch my keys and lay my sunglasses kind of on top and everything fits 
in this bag perfectly. The next mini bag I want to share is this one right here. This is my Chanel Burgundy Rocks. I just want to note because this has two compartments, uh, you can still fit this in here. So I oftentimes fit it uh, in the back compartment. I'll just slide it in just like that and fit my keys on the other side and then you still have plenty of room in this front compartment for all the other essentials that you need to carry around for the day. And the last mini bag that I want to show you guys is my most recent purchase right here. This is the Chanel mini flap with the chevron quilt in this with the so black hardware and the PVC overlay. You open this bag up, it just has this one compartment in here. And you can see that it fits right inside. It takes up a good portion of the space, but uh, there's still plenty of room for the rest of the items that I need to carry, such as my lipstick and my eye drops and lip balm and my keys. They also fit in there. And last but not least, my sunglasses. Fits right on top. Close it up and good to go. So I hope you found my first impressions of the Hermes Compact Bjorn Wallet helpful and also were able to get a good sense of its size and how well it fits inside uh, the six different mini bags that I shared today. If I had to share a final verdict on the Hermes Compact Bjorn Wallet, I absolutely love that I have this as part of my collection. I love using it and every time I take it out or I see that pink color, uh, it, it really just makes my heart sing. <laughs> but uh, having said that, I don't think I'd necessarily run out to go add a whole bunch more to my collection. Uh, that might just be because I'm somebody who's used to using more compact or like thin, small, card wallets, card holders, things like that as my full size wallet. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, I, but I do recommend the wallet itself. I think it's great and it's functional. It still fits in a lot of my mini bags. So it definitely works for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and informative in terms of the size of the wallet itself and also what mini bags it fits inside. If you have any questions, please leave them down below or feel free to head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help wherever I can. I post more frequently to Instagram and you can see a lot of these items much more up close and personal. So feel free to check me out over there. If you like this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up or commenting. I post videos onto YouTube every Sunday. If you'd like to know when I post a new video, feel free to subscribe and you'll be one of the first to know that I posted a new video. So until next time, bye!